So scrolling back up, I see that I have a transfer to 1239. And for some reason, it isn't recognizing that this is a transfer between two accounts that are connected to QuickBooks. So let's see. I can see it here being received the same amount, same date. So I am going to categorize this. And we can just call it transfer. And this is going or coming from our account. I'll we'll click add. So now on the checking account side, we'll see that okay, it is matching it now that it can see that those are transfers between the two. So I'll click match. And here I have a transfer to a USAA account, which is a personal account. So what I'm going to do is click categorize. And call this a transfer. I'm going to call this transfer to personal. Just so that there's a difference. And then in this case, we want to have this go to an equity account because this is just going to a personal account. So let's see, I have a contributions account. I don't have a distributions account yet. So I'm going to click add new account. Again, making sure I'm changing this from bank to equity in this case. We'll call this distributions, it's not a partnership. So I'm going to change that to owner distributions. Save and close and add. Here is another transfer to personal account. So I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. Now I showed you how to record a transfer between two bank accounts in this case between checking and savings. Now I'm going to show you how to record a credit card payment. A credit card payment is essentially in QuickBooks a transfer from your bank account to your credit card, but you can also record it as a credit card payment. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have this $269.10 that was spent. And if we look at the credit card, we have this $269.10 that was received. I'll go ahead and click add card payment. And now we can look here at this Chase checking account. And that transaction is no longer there because it was matched to the credit card payment that we just added.